Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Barr. This is a simple model of the testis that you can create with an Easter egg, a plastic bag, and a piece of masking tape. Just attach the masking tape to the top of the egg and color blue the part that's going to represent the epididymis. Now remember the epididymis, the normal epididymis, covers the whole head of the testis, completely covers the testis. This is not the case in the bell clapper deformity. The epididymis runs along the length of the testis, and then the spermatic cord comes up on the side. So in normal testicular anatomy, the tunica vaginalis attaches firmly to each end of the epididymis, and it's a firm capsule. There's no way the testis can rotate. But in testicular torsion, when you have a bell clapper deformity predisposing to testicular torsion, the epididymis does not cover the head of the testis. It's ectopic in location. And it also does not extend so firmly over the tail of the epididymis. So what happens is the tunica vaginalis only attaches to the spermatic cord. And what that means is it's super easy for the testis to rotate around and become torsed within the tunica vaginalis because it's free spinning because the tunica vaginalis is only attaching on the spermatic cord, not on the epididymis like it does in the normal patient.